Well, I, I'd also just like to say that uh, I'm Bert Brutal's friend. And, uh, uh, we'll, be, we'll be friends forever. Um, I'm so sorry it's so cold. I mean, we, we thought, do we actually need a tent? I mean, it's, we're going to be... <laughs> We're going to be out in the desert, it's warm. We thought we could put the money towards see us building another spaceship. But somebody, somebody persuaded us that uh, a tent would be a good idea. Um, but maybe the heating would have been a good idea as well. But anyway, that's um, I just hope, I hope we don't lose too many of our astronauts uh, as we you know, don't, uh, we'll wrap up more, please. Um, anyway, I've been, I've been actually coming uh, to the Mojave for two decades now. Um, be it uh, to try to get uh, balloon capsules built uh, or record-breaking aircraft um, like uh, Virgin Atlantic Global Flyer that uh, Bert and his team built so beautifully and that flew non-stop around the world or indeed uh, spaceships. There is always uh, something happening here uh, in the Mojave and today is no exception. Well, I actually had a sneak preview of the Finnish Spaceship 2 last night, as I have not seen her for some months. And I have to tell you that, uh, that I was as near being uh, reduced to tears as is, is possible without actually crying. But Bert spoke a moment ago about the vision of commercializing uh, Spaceship 1. Uh, but for some years before that, we've been looking for new technology and environmentally efficient space systems. And when we saw what Bert had done with Spaceship One, we knew we'd found our answer because it clearly pressed all the right buttons for safety, uh, for passenger experience, and for commercial viability. And five years later, well, here we are. Now, we have not just one governor, we have two governors here with us, both of whom I'm fortunate enough to know personally. Both of whom have also shown the quality of leadership that makes the United States the greatest place in the world, well, the second greatest place in the world, to, to do business. They, um, I first met uh, Bill Rickston in uh, New Mexico during 2006. And to cut a long story short, um, it kind of went like this. Bill said to me, well, if you build a spaceship, I will build a spaceport. And I said back to him, well, if you build a spaceport, I'll build a spaceship. <laughs> and we looked each other in the eye and we shook hands on it there and then. And I'm delighted to say that uh, Governor Richardson, uh, who's somebody who keeps his word, has more than kept his side of the bar bargain. And as you'll see in a few minutes, so have I. <laughs> And uh, that's the way we both like to do business. Well, I first met Governor Schwarzenegger around the same time, although I think I already knew his face. <laughs> and I said to him, I want to invest in an airline called Virgin America. And he said to me, I will make it work for you. And, and uh, sorry, I'll make it work. Sorry, what did you say? <laughs> what, did you, what did you say? I'll make it work uh, for you and all your other investors right here in California. Well, anyway, he was a man of his work too. And uh, Virgin America now flies all over the US from San Francisco. Anyway, I'm so delighted that despite their incredibly busy schedules, both governors have been able to join us today for this historic occasion. And I'd like to welcome my Governor Schwarzenegger to uh, speak first. So thank you very much.